Welcome back. I'm Marianne Leffel, host of this segment of Your Town. I'm president of the Monterey County Business Council. We hope you'll join us every month as we explore our community and introduce you to companies that you may or may not know about, but also learn a little bit more about your community. So my second guest today is John Stufloten, who has a fabulous painting company. And I told him, I read about him in the pine cone a while ago and was just in awe of what he's done. So I'm so happy he's joining me today. John, welcome. Thank you very much. I'm pleased to be here. So when the article was in the pine cone, was it about a year, two years ago? Yes, okay. yes. I, I remember reading it thinking, wow, what a <laughs> career and what an opportunity. So when I see what you've done, you're really at the pinnacle of, of I think, Thank painting you. and restoration. So do you want to, I know you've done the Carmel Mission. Yes. And you want to just talk about a couple of the other really memorable projects you've had? Well, we, having lived here all my life and we slowly worked into that vein of, of, of work, uh, the historical restoration. And uh, we've done uh, the Lighthouse Keeper's House at Point Sur Lighthouse. We started that, I think, in 2003. And we've been working there off and on ever, ever since. And um, after the Lighthouse Keeper's House was redone, then, uh, oh, we've done all the fences up there. And then last year, we, we actually did the roof of the lighthouse. It's all solid copper, and uh, we had to get up there. They made a special ladder for us to uh, be able to get up there and work. And we all had to be tied off in safety chains and harnesses and all. It was quite a project. And we just finished a project at the Point Pinos Lighthouse, helping them um, get rid of some lead-based paint that we're certified to do. And we've also worked at the old Capitol Club. It's called Casa Amesté here in Monterey, just over down the street here. And um, we, we did the Castro House in, in Aptos, uh, total restoration inside and out. And um, so we've been really fortunate to work on those kind of projects. and. And Carmel Mission, I was honored to uh, actually prepare Father Sarah's grave for canonization. I think that may be the article that you saw. It was, yes. And um, uh, as a matter of fact, I met with Father Paul yesterday, and we have projects coming up with um, some restoration at uh, Crespi Hall behind the main chapel. And I, actually, I've worked on that in the past, too. I, uh, eight years ago, we restored the interior, and about three years ago we did the exterior. Now they're going to remodel the kitchen in there and, and put some more office space in, and um, I'm going to help them with that project and have the new part look like the old part. So Yeah, that's a, it's, it's an amazing skill. It, it truly is. Mm -hmm. and you and I were talking earlier that you actually learned by working with your dad Yes. Who worked for Comstock, correct? Yes, correct. And uh, Comstock's uh, painter was Al Nevis Painting. And his father-in-law uh, was a, a man who had a business on Monterey, in Monterey on Lighthouse called the Furniture Art Studio. And Lyle Ingram was his name. And I think I'm the only one who ever apprenticed with him. And he did the marbleizing techniques and the wood graining and all of that, all from natural earth elements that we used. And uh, I was, I had a special upbringing there. And I worked for him for about a year. And um, that has stead me through my lifetime. And now I'm doing those old techniques again. And, and I've taught them to my crew. I have three of my crew have been with me 21 years now. and. Um, uh, most of my crew have been with me for quite a while. I think my newest guy is 12 years. That's, that's <laughs> remarkable. <laughs> it's, uh, how you large know, is your crew? We have a seven-man crew. Okay. Ranges from five to seven throughout the year. And um, we're lucky enough to get a lot of those types of interesting jobs and to have people seek us out for that, uh, as we did... Uh, that beautiful Queen Anne Victorian in uh, Pacific Grove, 
the Dr. Hart House. We were honored to do that two years ago. and uh, it's, it's, it's a showcase. It's beautiful yeah. when you drive past it. You know, the Pacific Grove Heritage Society just gave it an award for its painting. And uh, so I was back east. I couldn't go to it, but uh, I sure uh, was pleased it got the award. So, um, and did you do the Frank Lloyd Wright House? Um, I've worked on it. Uh, which one are you talking about? The Butterfly House. I definitely worked on the Butterfly House, yeah. As a matter of fact, I've known that house all my life because uh, the, the owner builder who built it uh, was a local architect and his son was in my class at Sunset okay. <laughs> in 52 when they built it. I think it was started around 50 and then was finished about 52. And um, so I've known that house and then I was able to help restore that about a year and a half ago. It since has been sold and been redone by somebody else, but I'm doing the house right next door to it, which is called On the Rocks. And uh, we're just about finished with that project right there on Scenic. It's quite a project. So um, as a matter of fact, we're going back to seal a lot of the fancy stucco work that was done there. It's so, you know, it's sitting right on the rocks and the waves actually splash It really takes house. a beating yeah. from the elements. So. Um, we need we they they didn't think they had to seal it, but I insisted that they do. And a, after uh, some time has gone by, they saw that what I said was necessary to do. So we're scheduled to do that soon, and um, we're going to be starting some other interesting projects coming up. And we're down in Otter Cove uh, restoring a, um, a Mark Mills house. Uh, Mark Mills was an architect apprentice who worked on uh, the Frank Lloyd Wright house, the boat house uh, on Scenic and Carmel. He, he, he apprenticed with Frank Lloyd Wright. And after that project, he did several homes on the peninsula. And one of them was down in Otter Cove. And so um, they're all historically um, important and they will be more as time goes by. So we're looking forward to that project. I think it's for me, it's 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 very inspiring that people are caring enough about historic properties to do it right, mm -hmm. and I think that's really important. And also, I'm thrilled that we have someone with your skill set <laughs> that is here that can can do it, and that you've been able to train other people, mm. uh, presumably. That well, you've got a large enough crew that yeah. you can do more than one and, and work on things. Yes, and throughout the years, I've sent my crew uh, in batches down to Los Angeles to Venetian Plaster School that they got certified in, and I've sent them to full finish school at various colleges around Central California, and we continually educate our crew and train them with the new techniques and, and the old techniques. And so each one of them just about knows everything I know already, having been with me so long. I don't really need to babysit them very much. <laughs> they're, they're, they're pretty straightforward and I get so many compliments from the homeowners that we work with uh, on how polite the crew is and uh, what a joy it is to have them you know, on the project. And they really take care and they're concerned about the home and they really watch out for it. And we, um, we were doing a, a deck here in Monterey recently and uh, the homeowner was a little concerned because she saw a, a bucket with a bunch of rags in it and was worried that uh, my crew had, had left some thinner rags in a bucket, except for the fact that seven years ago in Los Tulares, when the neighbor, we were painting a house up there and about a half a block away there were painters doing a deck and they burned the deck and the house down and my crew got the best lesson without having a problem <laughs> about how to properly take care of that because that bucket contained water and all the thinner rags were in the bucket of water so that nothing could happen and um, they're already ahead of it they already see that and already mitigated any problem I think the tragedy is the Harmony House in uh, Carmel. Yes. Uh, was it two weeks or three weeks ago? Yes. Um, There's an example right there. It's just 
I mean, that's just crazy. They had totally finished the entire remodeling project, and that was like the last I, bit of it. I know. And they've lost a significant uh, historic, not the entire structure, but a lot of the things that were inside also. Right. So yeah. I, yeah, I feel yeah. really bad for uh, Carol and Don Hilburn hmm. that that happened. Yes. Uh, I'm on the board of directors of the Carmel Heritage Society, and w as a group, we were very saddened by that event. You know. And we have our, our house tour coming up at the end of the month here. So that's uh, next weekend, actually, and um, um, I'm going to be part of that. So I was on that board for about four years. Ah. And, um, yeah, Ted Leidig. Oh, I know Ted. And Tony Salome uh -huh. recruited me to be on that board. I, I sat on it, I think, four, four years, maybe five. Mm -hmm. And um, I worked that house tour every year, so. <laughs> <laughs> so you know. Yes, I really enjoyed it, though, and the... Um, I think the the warmth of the people who open their houses and are willing to show yeah. what fabulous structures there oh, are in Carmel. I've been so impressed by the board there who are so concerned about their mission and helping to preserve the historical parts of Carmel and, and showing them off. That's another thing. And keeping that original Murphy house in, in good condition. You know, we're working on that all the time. <laughs> uh, do you know uh, what date is the tour? Uh, it's this weekend. Uh, oh, so the 23rd or 24th, 25th? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it just one day or yes, two? Yes, it's just one day. On Sunday? S it's... Saturday? Yes, it is Sunday. So Saturday yeah. the 25th. Because I put the balloons the out and uh, I, first thing I do is I take all the balloons to each house and then I'm going to be manning one of the houses on Lincoln. Okay. Yeah. So how do they get, how do you get tickets? Do you go to the First Murphy House? You can get them from the First Murphy House or you can get them online at the uh, Carmel Heritage's website. Okay. Yeah. Is it carmelheritage.org? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if someone um, wants it, they could, they yes. could do that. Yes. Yeah. You can get them uh, also um, at the Frank Lloyd Wright House, um, the Boat House on okay. Scenic. Dur that day you can get them there too. Okay. Yeah. And if they missed this year, they could look for next year to see when the tour is. Excellent. Yeah. So, good. Well, it's a great fundraiser, and it's a great way to see some of the beautiful, beautiful homes in, in Carmel. So, yes, it is. So, it's good. Yeah. You know, I went to Sunset, and I went to Carmel High, and uh, it's great to be part of that. And I was able to march in the parade at the Centennial, and because we had a we had our, our group marched with, with a banner and all. And we all got into uh, period correct clothing. And I went to San Jose and rented a outfit <laughs> from a th you know theatrical company's rental place. It was quite fun and enjoyed being a part of Old Carmel. Yeah, no, I think yeah. that's important. The Merienda was um, the first week in June, Monterey's 247th birthday. Yes. And my husband's a retired Army Lieutenant Colonel Artillery. Mm -hmm. So he oh. had a replica um, uniform made of when the first artillery unit was at the Presidio, and he wears wow. that every year. And, uh, you know, it's just, it, it oh, really kind of puts you into the spirit of the sure. event. So that's yeah. important. It is important. Yeah. Yes, it's good. To keep that feeling up. So, John, how do you find if you need a new employee or you need someone, how? What kind of skills do you look for? How do you find the right person? Oh, good question. Well, we've been in the trades here for all our lives, so we know the tried and true, who's responsible, who's trained, and we don't go out of our close group very far at all if we need to put on uh, additional workers. <clears throat> I know the tried and true guys, have, they've worked with us off and on throughout the years. And um, we, we only get real experienced people. And I pay them very well, probably the top of, in the industry. And um, um, so we, we keep a high level of expertise that way. We don't tolerate any nonsense and um, we want just true professionals. Uh, and we know who they are. So. I think that's important. When we have to go outside, there, there are a few around. Good. And we, we, 
we love working with them from time to time. Uh, Conlon Keeter, I don't know if you know Conlon, he's w probably hands down the finest painting artist on the, in Central California. He can paint a fly on the wall that you'd swat <laughs> thinking it was real. I mean, he's incredible. Wow. And uh, there's a few times that we, we've worked together and, and enjoyed that very much. So um, that's an example. Okay. Yeah. So um, how far out are you booked? Good question. Uh, we have about 15 jobs waiting uh, right now on our books, and we're, we're a good month and a half out usually right about now. We have a, probably four projects going on right now. And I just got a text that one of my contractors is ready for me to start a project that we're going to do in Carmel on 12th Street. And we're going to do a full finish throughout the entire house, wood graining and, and full finishing. So um, we do a lot of work with uh, Bell McBride Builders. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, we also have uh, a couple of wallpaper hangers that work with us. Um, and we'd hang a lot of paper on the peninsula, it's coming back in popularity. Yes, it is. It really is, and there's some beautiful work being done. And a lady out of New York who just moved to uh, Oregon who does um, murals on paper and one-of-a-kind uh, hand-painted, hmm. oh, just, w we've had some beautiful ones. We've done for Stoker Allaire down the coast and in Pebble Beach, and uh, we've restored um, a few of those homes there. That's exciting. Yes, it is. It's really exciting. And we get to work with lime wash paints and old world uh, products like that. And uh, we get, uh, you know, from a 500 year old R Roman quarry, we get this lime paint that uh, we content and we make it right on the job. It just comes in powdered form and we make the paint on the job for each, each project and my all my crew know those formulas and and uh, it's it's special so we're going to run out of time but you have a paint that you actually devised for the milk paint company yes that color what is that color well that's a good question we were doing this house that's right behind the 18th green at pebble beach at stillwater cove there and uh, it's a tudor house and it's quite large and they uh, contacted us to restore all the, the gray, kind of weathered Tudor look. And so I worked with um, uh, the gal at Eco Carmel. Christine. Christine, who's, who I really like. And uh, we got a piece of uh, a cabinetry that was the right color. And we took it down to her shop and we matched that color. And then had the factory in Tennessee reproduce it for us in some volume so we could do this house. And at the end of the project, uh, I wanted to give the formula to the homeowner so that he could have it in the future. And so I contacted the milk paint company in Tennessee and for the formula and they said, well, gee, John, you don't have to worry about the formula. We like the color so much, we wanna make it a stock color for our company and we'd like to uh, have you help us name it. So my wife and I opened a bottle of wine at home and we sat down and started thinking and she came up with Stillwater Gray and that was, that was a winner right away. So we for forwarded that to Tennessee and they, uh, they loved it and they came out with a national uh, uh, campaign introducing the uh, paint to the public and we had a ribbon cutting down at uh, Christie's business on San Carlos and Carmel and and it just took off. I love that. Yeah, it was wonderful. So, so we got to be a part of that, and that was very rare. So. Yeah. So, John, thank you so much. I just, I love talking to you, and I <laughs> love you. what you do. I mean, you are a true professional and a true artist. Thank so thank you. you. So this is your town. Don't go away. We'll be back in a minute. I'm Mr. John Stufloten, if you need painting, he's the guy. <laughs> so um, we'll see you in a few minutes. Thank you so much.